Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba mpenzi mtazamaji. Asalamu alaykum. Hujambo na karibu kwenye taarifa za darubini ya Channel 1 ikiwa ni siku ya 29 mwezi wa sita mwaka 2022 na bila shaka ni fahari yetu kujumuika nawe hapa kwenye KBC Channel 1 asante sana kwa kukichagua kituo hiki kiwe kituo chako cha habari jioni ya leo lakini kwanza kabisa hebu tupate vidokezo tume ya IBC ya kariri kwa utumizi wa sajili ya daftari ni afua ya mwisho Shirika la utangazaji la Kenya KBC lapata idhini ya kupeperusha mashindano manane ya michezo kuanzia Ijumaa hii. Na maagenti bandia wanaojira wafanyikazi ghaibuni kuadhibiwa. Karibu mtazamaji naitwa Ahmed Jumabalo kipenda nite AJB mwenzetu wa ishara ni Lensa Odingo. Nami naitwa Beatriz Gatonya Ngetich karibu. Waziri wa Teknolojia ya Habari na Mawasiliano, Ubunifu na Masuala ya Vijana Joe Moshero amewataka wakenya kuonyesha heshima na uvumilivu jinsi wanavyofanya wakati huu wa kushabikia timu za michezo hasa wakati huu nchi inapoelekea katika uchaguzi mkuu. Mushero alisema hayo kwenye uzinduzi rasmi wa matangazo ya mashindano makuu manane ya michezo akiwemo fainali za kombe la dunia la FIFA ambayo yataonyeshwa mbashara kwenye runinga ipendayo ya KBC Channel 1 akizungumza katika hoteli moja hapa Nairobi wakati wa uzinduzi wa matangazo ya moja kwa moja ya michezo katika runinga ya KBC Channel 1 waziri wa teknolojia ya habari na mawasiliano ubunifu na masuala ya vijana Joe Mushero alisema kuwa michezo ni muhimu katika kuunganisha watu I am certain that Kenyans will come together to experience and enjoy these sporting events football athletics and rugby and basketball They all attract a diverse set of audiences that will cover close to 1000 or 100 sorry 100% of our population. Mwenyekiti wa bodi ya wakurugenzi ya KBC mhandisi Benjamin Mainge alisema kuwa uzinduzi wa matangazo ya moja kwa moja ya michezo na shirika la KBC unaambatana na uboreshaji wa kituo hicho. This could not have come at a better time. The board has recently revamped and continues to oversee the upgrade of KBC broadcasting infrastructure. And that has seen improvement in the quality of our images on television. We have now better sound and consistently we have steady signals around the country. Kaimu Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa KBC Samuel Maina alisema matangazo hayo mbashara ya michezo yataboresha vipindi vya michezo kwenye vituo vya redio, televisheni na pia kwenye mitandao ya KBC. Those who love sports will have unlimited access to either watch or listen to their sporting events wherever they are. KBC is committed to ensuring an interrupted free to air broadcast through various platforms I have outlined. You sit, watch. You sit, listen, or take it with you on the go on your mobile. Kinara Wanok Paul Tergat alisema kuwa matangazo kama hayo yataipa KBC umaarufu zaidi. It is a partnership that uh, when we work together, we want to see that KBC become where it used to be. Changing with time and keeping us the content that we want to see every day. ABC ina haki za kutangaza fainali za kombe la dunia, mashindano ya mchezo wa mpira wa kikapu kufuzu kwa kombe la dunia, mechi ya rugby league baina ya Kenya na Afrika Kusini, mashindano ya riadha duniani na yale ya wanariadha walio chini ya umri wa miaka ishirini mashindano ya dunia ya nusu maradhoni, michezo ya jumuiya ya madola na mechi za DFB Pokal. Matangazo hayo ya moja kwa moja ya michezo yataanza Ijumaa hii hadi mwezi wa Mei mwaka ujao. Nikiripoti ya Darubini, jina langu ni Daniel Wahome.